Hi, I'm Luann Aiken with Tagawa Gardens here in Centennial, Colorado. Getting into summer now, the landscapes, the yards, the gardens, kind of up and running, but maybe you're spotting a few bug and disease problems somewhere in your yard. Let's take a look at some environmentally friendly ways to handle that. One of the best ways that I know of for aphids is Ta -da -ta -da, a strong spray of water. Aphids are born pregnant, so if you go out and nuke them with a whole bunch of pesticides, you're taking out aphids and ladybugs and praying mantis all at the same time, and the aphids will come back first. So a strong jet of water right in front, right on top of those aphids, will knock them down, they won't crawl back, just stay on top of it every few days, and you will knock down that population. Another great way to get rid of aphids, Ladybugs, it's a kid-friendly project. Let them out, they will chew up all those little aphids in your yard, and then they'll take off and go where there's other food. So they'll last for a while. You don't expect them to last all summer because they have other places to go and other aphids to eat. If you need an actual insecticide, neem is a great thing to use. It's very much environmentally friendly. It's certified for organic gardens, and it's both a, an anti-fungicide and an insecticide. Very much something you can use even on edible crops, and I find it very effective. Another thing you can use, a safer soap. It is a soap that will dissolve the outside of the bug's skeleton, which is their shell. They wear their skeleton on the outside. Safe insecticidal soap is a great way to go. And we also have some very friendly pharmaceutical type insecticides made out of things like rosemary oil and mint oil, and those can be great. Diatomaceous earth, it's a powder. It's actually pulverized, fossilized sea creatures. If you sprinkle it around like the base of a squash or cucumber plant, the cucumber beetles will get poked and they dehydrate. They actually just get impaled on the diatomaceous earth. Sulfur, dusting sulfur, another way to combat funguses in your yard. If you do have problems with caterpillars, especially things like tomato worms, Dipole, also known as Bt, is a great product. It affects only the larva, the caterpillar of different kinds of insects, will not get into the food chain, and it's very effective. A little slow acting, and you have to put it on each time it rains, but it's very effective. Just remember, you take out all the caterpillars, you'll take out all the butterflies too. So know what you're getting rid of. And if you do need to bring a sample of a bug, insect or disease into the garden center, make sure please that it's in a Ziploc bag, we will not let you in the stores without having that disease or bug well contained. That's your dig info for today.